Don Thompson would say, let's start at the beginning, shall we? And talking about this idea, because we, we discussed gravity at the last lesson. And see, if, if, you, if you come up and just let the sticks fall, what does that feel like? Because, you see, it's gotten better. When you first did it earlier, before I was recording, do it again. Let me take a look. Shh. See how your left beat is a little higher? I know. It's tiny. tiny. Show me the floor. Show me where you're going to end up. Uh, you can't adjust it after. That's what I practice. I don't want to adjust it after. Ah, uh, it just see. So oh, see, it's not. It's not quite right because I see. I see some of. Let me see. I see some of that. I see it earlier. It was. It would bounce up and then come back down. What 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 I'm looking for is. And and then. And then say there, that was a good one. It just stopped. Everything just stopped. Oh, this stops. And and you'll feel you'll feel the whole system come to rest. The system just for a minute just goes, ah. So there's a little bit of that. As, as little of that as possible is what I'm searching. I'm searching to feel, this is Martinezism, I'm looking to feel as little as possible, right? There are certain things that we will feel. That was a pretty good one. Now, see, it's just gonna. Oh, didn't like that one very much. That was a good one. And I don't know. And I, this, I you know, this script is a, is a, a little bit foreign to me because I don't practice it like I practice the script. You know, I made a big deal out of figuring out how to play traditional. But uh, OK, so that's better. Now, here's the other thing that, that an exercise like this can provide. Where do you feel the stick in your hand? Well, it depends. Sir. Is it here, or is it when it goes on, or is it when it lands? Depends. Well, that's a fair question. But I'm looking to feel something all the time. See. So and when I'm when I'm going up, when I'm going up, I feel it on my three fingers. When I'm here on the top, I feel it mostly on the two fingers. Yeah. See. Yeah. Right. Here's where this idea of working on something as simple as just raising the stick and letting the whole thing fall really can really give you insight. Okay. What I'm searching for, you're right. It's, it, it is a three finger grip, right? And and the stick rocks over and we're not really getting into rebound right now, but it, it will rock over. The the middle, the middle. It will rock over the the the, the, the it rocks over the, the middle finger. So and, and, and travels. Through the hand in a particular way. So, see, so I'm feeling, yeah, so I'm, so, and, and that, that's a feeling that you're going to, you're going to recognize the importance of that fulcrum when we, when we really get into, when we get into rebounds. See, now I can really feel that stick rocking over the fulcrum. And, and here, and this is this is an area of the technique that was confusing to me as well, because I would be told that it's just a wrist turn if you're not using rebounds. We're not really taking advantage, so to speak, of the fulcrum in the hand. That's not really right, is it? Well, see, see, here we go. This is cool. And and even if, even if when you there is some sort of motion here happening, isn't it? You know, uh, let me just continue. Let me just keep going, and you can put it, and then you can put it together. 
yourself. And and so I'm not necessarily feeling the stick rocking over the fulcrum in the way that I do when I'm playing rebounds. So I'm not taking advantage of the fulcrum in the hand in that way. And this feeling is a really big deal all the time. You always have to have a fulcrum, even if the stick isn't rocking over it. You see, and so when I just raise my hand, I can feel it in there. I can feel the stick right in that the crack of that first knuckle middle finger. See, I feel it there. That's, that's, that's my locus. That's my focus point. Feel it. And I also feel it. And see, the stick hasn't done a bunch of stuff. Whatever it does, it does. Keep it simple. I'm feeling it in that middle finger. And I'm feeling it in that middle finger, and I'm feeling it in that middle finger, and I'm feeling it in that middle finger. If I want to rebound, I can. But I don't have to. But that doesn't mean that I don't feel the fulcrum just because I'm not going to get play multiple rebounds on the surface with the stick rocking over the fulcrum. You have to have this feeling all the time. Okay, so try it again. But it is, it is true that here, you don't have the weight of the stick against the finger. So it's a light fulcrum in that sense. It's much lighter than when you're here, where you have all the weight pushing against, against the crust of the, of the middle finger. But ultimately, I feel here that it's more it's more the first two fingers contributing to the grip than necessarily the third one, even though the stick still rests there. There are there there are subtle changes, but you know what? For me, I, I, it's not what I'm feeling. Interesting. Yeah, I'm feeling that I just maintain this grip real simple. This grip has a fulcrum. I feel the stick lying in it. I feel that fulcrum. I feel that fulcrum. I feel it in the middle. I can feel this. That's what I'm feeling. I'm not like, oh, now it's the first. Th there might be there might be changes with regards to the fulcrum when it comes to rebounds, because when we go to play very quiet rebounds, it can be debated. You know, that's where Carlos said, well, I feel it somewhere in between. The gig with this technique is to decide on where you're going to feel that fulcrum. If do I want, I could, I could decide that I'm going to make the fulcrum, I'm going to focus, my locus will be that the fulcrum is somewhere, be, remember that's a Carlos thing. It's somewhere, he argued with Dick, it's somewhere in between, or he didn't, maybe he didn't argue, he said, I just, I feel it in between. I remember reading that. So, there, now I'm, now it's somewhere in between. All the time, all the time, I decided on it, right? And we want this narrow fulcrum, it's a three finger grip. For me, in palm down, you gotta keep it simple. Middle finger, middle finger, middle finger, fulcrum, 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 fulcrum. Fulcrum, fulcrum, It's already better. It's already, can you feel that subtle difference? Ah, see, it sounds like solid. And you're landing more evenly. And look, the sticks are stopping in this. They're stopping in the place from where they started. So it already got better. Now, let's keep going. That was cool, right? Now, try, go ahead. Uh, the butt hand of the stick, when you come to this, I feel that it, it, it loses I feel that it kind of loses contact with the palm, you see? Like, whereas here, obviously, it's against the, the bone here. Oh, well, it's just next to the bone, not on the bone, I hope. Yeah, next to the bone. Um, but wh when it kind of move here, it feels like the stick starts losing contact with the palm. How do you feel it? Well, let's see. Okay, words don't... Provide everything that you need. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. Yep. Comes away from the palm a little bit. Okay. But I, I feel it in my middle finger, though. See? It? I feel it in my middle finger. And I don't, I'm not doing anything. I'm just holding the stick, 
with that grip that we've learned, and I'm thinking fulcrum, 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 fulcrum. Okay, so go ahead and try it again just to lock that in. Come on up, come up. That's good. It's good. Fulcrum, 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 middle finger, middle finger. Right? Good. <clears throat> now, now check this out. Okay, we're here. Just do this for fun. Now you can really feel it in the middle. No, stay, stay in position. Don't, don't come up at all. You really feel it in the middle finger, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so you put your grip back together and, and maintain a feeling of the fulcrum in the middle finger, okay? Now, go on up and prepare to make a throw. Where do you feel the stick? Still in the middle. Oh. Yeah. It's like I really, really change much to be honest. Really feel it dangling from the middle finger. Go ahead and take your other fingers off. It's a little weird, but right? that's what you don't want to do that. That's what a lot of guys do. Come back down. <clears throat> a lot of guys get the idea or, or hear about the idea, they conceptualize this idea that the fulcrum isn't the first finger and thumb. That's something else. And and by the way, it can become the first finger and thumb if we start using our fingers and pulling. And it does become the fulcrum. See, things change or can change. But they get the idea that the way they're going to feel the weight of the stick isn't to have a grip up front. So they're all sloshy up front, thinking that that's going to give them this feeling like as though they're not holding on up front. Big mistake. That's not what we want to do. We have to maintain this grip. And this grip includes the fulcrum just as it should be. You can feel the weight of the stick laying in that middle finger. But I have a grip up front. Okay, so when I go like this, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just focused on, on the, I'm, my main focus. You're thinking of everything, Raph. There's a lot to think about. It's like there's a lot to think about. But really, I've just turned my wrists, moved around a fixed point in the universe, right? Thinking fulcrum, and then I'm going to turn and see if I come back to the surface. And you, do you still do you feel the grip that you started with? It might feel a little different as you're moving through the air. Things are happening. We will darn. We absolutely want to come back and feel that. That's what you want to feel. Feel that feeling. That's the feeling we want to feel. Not bad. Mm -hmm. oh. mine, mine seems to copy me, copy, copy my timing. Kind of takes off, doesn't it? Going up kind of slowly, but then once I just let everything go, because remember, Part of the gig is this motion gives us a little flick. See? Especially when it's smaller, it feels like a little. It's just a little flick. Let's try it here like this. Flick. A little flick. Uh -huh. You don't want to force anything. You don't want to rush it. But we could go slowly. You know, there's a feeling though. If, if I if I if I if I turn more quickly at this point, if I turn more quickly, the thing comes down more quickly. Try it. Indeed. The key thing fulcrum, yeah. Now this time, come on up and come down more, turn more slowly. 
it'll guide the system. Yeah, don't don't lose your don't lose your. Let, let me see. I'm just seeing something. Let's see. We're talking about the throw again, <laughs> right? You know what? It's cool though. Got, now you got your fulcrum. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see. Uh, I don't see my hand opening up as much as yours. That's something that Dick Wilson told me. I remember where we were. It might be true. Yeah, that might be true. We were sitting in the car and he said, don't don't go throwing the energy away by throwing your fingers open. So let's see. See, sitting in here, middle finger, first finger and thumb, flat of the thumb, crack of the first knuckle of the first finger, fourth and fifth have very little to do with it. They're just hanging out. And so. See, my my hand isn't doing that. Here's kind of you think you're doing that. Like, ah, and I'm I'm just holding the stick and making making this motion and leaving everything alone and feeling it in that middle finger. Feeling the entire grip. See? See how it doesn't open up very much? And everything just stops dead. Yeah, I think I think ultimately, because you you always insisted with me for doing a big throw. And Maybe I'm just doing it too much, but that can be the can be the case. Let's see, that was yeah. There you go. Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay, don't throw the energy away. Okay. Got okay. better again. Now, now with with that basic construct of understanding, let's take a look. Let's go back to the flamicue. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that. You have that up. Page twelve. <laughs> Yeah. So just go ahead and, and play that stroke and remember all the pieces that are involved. Pieces. Yeah. Pieces involved is we need. Right? We have our we have our we have our grip. We have that feeling of how the stick lays in the foot lays in the hand. We have that primary focus which is right now at least maybe, maybe it'll change at some point we'll have to focus on something but we're fulcrum in the middle finger if we palm down all right and we have a little a gentle little throw right so it, it's, it's going to be this it, it still feels that's a little bit of a flick just sitting my hand, laying in that middle finger, maintain my grip up front, and I make that little motion. And and so, because if that's not the accent, the accent is in the left. So we have to make, we're going to make a little throw on the right because it's a it's a, a flap. The left, the appoggiatura is an upstroke. So I'm going to I'm going to raise a little higher. So it's as if the two throws in the right are about the same volume, aren't they? It's going to come up with the same height. Uh, uh, so my my left is higher, uh, and then there are two lefts, right? Uh, 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 left, left, a little to the right. Yeah. I've maintained my grip. I can feel it. Feel all the all the all points of contact. Put them, go ahead and play it the other way first. Let's hear it the other way. Play. Are you as palm down in the left as you are on the right? Say again? Are you as palm down in the left as you are on the right? Just look down. I don't think so, not quite. 
be a, a mirror image of each other, right? Once you decide on your positioning, you have to decide what is it going to feel like when I'm waiting at the floor? What position am I in? So you have to come back to that position every time. We can't change. Uh -huh. That's more solid. Go ahead and put the metronome on. Metronome on at. Uh, Let's see. Put it on at 40. the other way. I think that you you have a, a, a deeper understanding with regards to the grip and how things how things work. I don't think see you throwing your fingers out. Yeah, that and was you, a good. Yeah. yeah, just holding the stick with with that grip with the grip. Okay, let's get one more thing done. Okay, pull out. It, that that stroke isn't really about speed. It's about learning the motions, the mm -hmm. flat, and and so you. You, you can bring that up in speed, but right now I, I want to keep moving. So I want you to take a look at page 13. We're going to take a look at the rough. <clears throat> and and we're going to we're going to dovetail. See the flamicue has. Uh, 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 uh. It's got. Uh, uh. Hmm. Right. In both hands, depending on which way you're going. See, it's like a double, isn't it? Fulcrum, fulcrum, and now that awareness is going to be key because at this point we're we're playing an appoggiatura, we're playing a rough or a, a drag, or it could be a th could actually be a three-stroke roll, right? Mm -hmm. So. But in this case, it is is always rebound, right? That double, or isn't it? Well, it's typically how it's played, but the, typically it's taught as a rebound. And and you'll see that Murray talks about way it sounds. What is that? Amamatapia? What was that? Where where the, uh, the actual use of the language is reflected in the sound that's being made. Uh, right. Uh, Paradiddle is a good example. It sounds like a paradiddle. Right? And so we're looking at what Murray is down as ta 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 ta. ta. <laughs> and sometimes that kind of simplicity can be very helpful, right? So and the ta ta is pianissimo, and ah that is written in capitals is forte. Okay. All right. So now, how are we going to play? How are we going to play that that double? Because once this thing starts, the first the first the first iteration 
is actually uh, alternating. Okay. So, how are we going to play? How are we going to play two notes in one hand? Let's, let's just imagine that we're not we're not going to use the first iteration. Let's just consider. Let's just consider that we're only going to go the next the next example. The next line is all uh, left drags, mm -hmm. right? So it's always going to be this. We can control the speed. And once we decide on what speed we're going to use, we have to we have to maintain it because it has to it has to go both ways ultimately, and you want it to sound even in terms of the space between the, the speed of the appoggiatura, which is two notes. Yeah, but that, that in a way defines how open or how close it is. Right. Ultimate, ultimately, we want to have control over that. OK, so when we go to play a rebound raf, we know that the stick now, we talked about it, is going to rock over that fulcrum that we've been we've been working on today. So if I have you simply turn from parallel to the surface. Go ahead and do that for me. Just touch the surface and leave the beat there. No, nope, I want you to turn from parallel. I don't want you turning to the ceiling first. We could, I'm just, I'm hipping it to something, okay? So we're just gonna touch the surface. Nice and gentle, just. Jane Weber, my, my buddy from Palm Springs, is a student as well. Okay, now, uh, so we're, no, when you, when you did that, you did something like this. We're not making an upstroke right now. Okay. I'm, asking you, I'm just asking you to bend forward for half an inch, parallel beat to butt end. We, we feel the grip, we have a fulcrum consciousness, and we're simply going to turn towards the surface and touch. Look how little the wrist, you're only going down a half an inch, look how little. It's a little hand, just a fall. The wrist is a fall. It's a small turn, so it makes sense. There you go. But we also have a fulcrum in the hand. And now we're going to, in a minute, we're actually going to be taking advantage of the fulcrum in the hand. We'll have two fulcrums at, at working. <clears throat> Not yet. So first we're just touching. No, I just want you to stay with me now. Just touch gently. Feel that little turn. There, leave it, leave it on the surface. Do you feel, where do you feel the butt end? Palm, my hand. Yeah, you do. That's what I feel. Now I want you to keep bending. No. <laughs> when I when I get to the surface, I oh, like this, I suppose. Ah, I touch. And the stick is at an angle to the plane surface now, just a tiny bit. If I continue to bend, the stick comes away from the palm. And the butt end moves down so that it feels as though the stick is very flat. Punch your first finger. Retain that. Try to try it again. You're just gonna touch and follow through. There. Just come away from the palm. Just hold it, just just that. Just want you to feel that. I don't want to overdo it. And then I want you to slowly start turning to the ceiling. Go on, start turning upward with your wrist. Okay, it's there. As soon as that, it retrogrades. As soon as the butt end, turn the wrist back up. Yes. Yeah. As soon as the butt, and it brings, it closes. Remember? Remember this, remember this thing? This, this idea that the fingers open from the wrist? Well, now it's really important. 
see, because now we're going to take advantage of, of the way the human body works. So in a way, the, the fingers also kind of stretch, isn't it? Well, don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Don't they open up? Yeah, they just open up, isn't it? Open up. But we're maintaining a grip with the first finger and thumb. And I suppose also the thumb kind of rotates slightly. It does move on the stick, the flat of the thumb. There'll be some movement, okay? So, we're touching. We're following through. Stick is laying in the middle finger. Butt ends come away from the palm. We're going to turn back up as soon as that butt end touches the palm. It, it will therefore leverage the bead up off of the surface back into your plane position at the floor, half an inch parallel bead to butt end. Okay. So if if we're if if we aware of that, see. Now, now I don't mind if you turn if you if you turn up a little bit. Go ahead and turn up a little bit. And just just let the stick bounce many times and the, there. Now bring it up off the surface. All right. So do that again. Not that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Is not bad. Okay. Now give me give me four. One, two, three, four. You don't have to do a whole lifting thing, it just stops. One, two, three. Yeah. Give me three. Three. Two. Two. Put the other hand. Just after that is the down. Stroke. Don't go throwing your fingers open. Keep your fulcrum in the left. Make it play a down stroke. Ta ta ta. Give me the old ta ta ta, Ralph. <laughs> so you want you want me to do what the double with the left? Yeah, just a tiny little turn. You just did it, and then put no no no. You were you turning in the right? So you're gonna put the left down stroke. Gotcha. Gotcha. Go the other way. Other way. Can you do it? All right. Okay. We've been going for quite a while now. That's good. Okay. So we're, now we're into rebounds. Well, we're we're into having two fulcrums. We're now taking advantage of of the fulcrum that exists in that. But that doesn't mean that when we're playing and not playing multiple rebounds or a rebound, even just one rebound, so you're playing two notes, that doesn't mean that when we're just simply turning and not playing those rebounds, we lose our fulcrum. Fulcrum, fulcrum, fulcrum. So now it's starting to come along. It's good, man. I will never do well. Turn off the camera. <laughs> 